Hi, I'm Diane. Welcome to my channel, Seems Easy. If you're a subscriber, I'm so glad you're here and welcome back. I hope that if you're not a subscriber already that you will subscribe to get all my future videos. And uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make a ferret tube. It's so easy. You need a third of a yard of a plain cotton fabric and a third of a yard of fleece. And then you're going to need part of a shoestring. You only need 12 inches. But that is so that you can make these little hangers to hang it up. You don't have to hang it up. A ferret or a sugar glider or a pet rat will love just crawling inside into this and playing inside. You can put it on the floor or you can hang it in a cage and it becomes something of a hammock in a cage. They can crawl in there and sleep hanging in the cage. This will take you maybe 20 minutes to make. It's not hard at all. So I hope you'll stick with me and let's get started. Okay, now with regular fabric, it's usually pretty easy to tell which is the right side and which is the wrong side. But sometimes with fleece, it is hard to tell, especially when you've got a solid color. So let me show you. We're going to be putting the right sides together of the fleece and sewing a 3 4 inch seam down both sides. So at the end of, of the bolt, this would be the sides. You just pull it. And when it cur curls, it's going to curl away from you if you have the right side up, okay? So you can, you can sort of tell that that's the wrong side and this is the right side, but sometimes really it's very difficult. So that's how you do it. You pull it. If it curls away from you, you're looking at the right side. So let's check this one. All right. So now we're going to put these right sides together and pin them. Okay, so for the main fabric, we're going to sew a half inch seam down both long sides. And for the fleece, we're going to sew a 3 fourths inch seam down each side. Okay, I've got my machine, my needle set so that it's going to be a half inch seam. I'm using this neat little gadget, which is very helpful. So now we're just going to sew down on the main fabric one half inch from the edge, removing the pins as we go. So now I'm going to use this as my guide because that's a 3 4 inch seam for my fleece panel. of your main fabric open. So we're going to press those open and we're going to trim the seam of the fleece part down to about a fourth of an inch. Alright, I've pressed the seam open. Now you're going to turn the main fabric right side out. You're going to leave your fit fleece wrong side out with the seams on the outside. Now we're going to just slide this hole 
tube inside your main fabric. The fleece should be two inches longer on each end than the main fabric. And we want to match this up on the seams. And I'm using a seam gauge here to get, make sure I get this right. Now I want to make sure that we've got two inches all the way around and just pin, pin this. We're going to baste stitch this down. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this all the way around so that it's evenly distributed. Now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and I'm going to baste this one half inch from that raw edge all the way around. Okay, so I've, I've basted this. On both ends, just one half inch from the outside edge of your main fabric. And, and it's a tube, so. Now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna attach these loops so that it can be hung in a cage or it can just lay on the floor. Um, we're gonna put these two inches in from the outside edge and we're gonna line that up with the edge of your main fabric and pin it. We're only doing this on one side. We're not doing it on both the underside and the top side. And you, you pin it in this direction and you'll see why in just a moment. All right, now we're going to turn this fleece down to that edge and then one more turn and pin. So we're going to do this all the way around. to the sewing machine and what we're going to do is we're going to stitch this edge of the fleece about a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch over and we're going to go around it two times to lock these little pieces of shoelace in place. So I'll meet you back at the sewing machine. All right so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the edge of the fleece up against the left edge of my presser foot and the needle's gonna be going down right there. It's gonna be a, probably a little more than an eighth of an inch but that'll be just about right. And you still wanna remove the pins as you sew. And remember, we're gonna go around this twice. So now you just want to do the other end exactly the same way.